Every time anyone sees Pumping On, they will come away, you know, loving the movie, getting inspired by the movie, but at the same time they're asking themselves, wow, I mean, was all of this stuff true? I mean, was it really, did Anna really psych out Lou Ferrigno? Did he really not go home to his father's funeral because it was just shortly before a competition? And was he really that cold that he said, well, forget that he's dead already. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to just focus in on my competition. Is that true? I saw him hanging there afterwards, a celebration party after the Mr. Olympia smoking a joint. Did he really smoke a joint? And did he, in fact, inhale? Is that true? Uh, was it true that they stole Mike Katz's T-shirt? Was really the psyching out that he was doing on Lou Ferrigno, was that true? So they're walking out with a lot of questions. And so the, when I go around the, the country and promote the movie, for instance, even the 25th year anniversary, when the film started playing on HBO and Cinemax, you know, a lot of journalists called me and said, oh, I just saw this for the first time and asked me about all those questions. So I think it's important to clarify that there are certain things in this movie that were true, like the competition, the outcome of the competition, the training, the severity of the training, the severity of the pain, the sacrifices that needed to be made, the amount of hours we spent in the gym, the food supplements we had to take, the food that we had to eat all the time, the pounds of meat and all those kind of things. All of that is true. But there were certain things that are not true. And that's why we never call it a documentary, we call it always a docudrama, because certain things were created in order to make it more interesting.